Hey everyone outside there watching us on BTN TV. That's who I've been following us. Again back in the students, Fred, going to take you through mathematics just as usual. For those who have been with us since the beginning, they know what we have been doing. Yes, as we kick off with the lesson of today, I would send this information to every child outside there that is following us or this kind or piece of advice to the child or any pupil outside there that is following our program. As the lockdown is extended up to September, Basing on the release from the government that we should hold on at least up to December to observe the situation concerning COVID-19 that everyone is seeing and it is an understandable issue. I wouldn't advise every person, just every child outside there, just to stay without, to stay without doing anything. Please, this cuts across from baby killers up to any level of education. If you know you are at school, please take time, create time, and go through your books, revise some work that we did previously, in a previous level, to keep updated academically. I wouldn't wish when time for schools begin, you come back to school when you are totally green as if you have never been in class. So try to carry out personal revision. As I encourage you to be following our program. And for this case, this time around, I want us to work at this. As uh, we handle areas, we shall be sharing right away from P4 up to P6. At least every lesson we want to see how we can all benefit from it. If you're in P3, P4, P5, P6, how can you all benefit is what we're looking at. Okay, so let's look at today's, for those who have been following us previously, yesterday I think you saw how our lesson moved on. We catered for P4, we catered for P5, I catered for P6 at the same time. Just like as it is going to be even today, I want us to cater for all areas such that whenever I'm in a studio, every person outside there, as long as you are a pupil at school, I need you to benefit from it. Please stay tuned as we kick off with the lesson. So today's lesson, I want us to look at how to find value of a digit. If you are given a number, and they want you to find the values of different digits, what do we do? So we shall look at the example one and see what does it require us to do. When we look at example one, it is saying write the value of each digit in the following numbers. And of which numbers are as two, seven, three, four. Those are not numbers, but they are digits. Those are the digits. Digits given are two, seven, three, four. So when we look at this, how can we find the digits of each of these? So we're much aware that this is a number, but not a digit. The whole of this is a number, and this number, we call it a four-digit number it has got four digits it is a four digit number when you find the value of each digit the first thing we shall need to do is to identify the place value of each digit I'm in position to find the value of each digit we shall need to get the digit which is given and we multiply it by its place value. When you multiply it by its value, what we shall come out with 
it will be the value of that digit. So in simple terms, what do I mean? For you to be in position to find the digit, we shall have the digit times its value. Then what we shall come out with, it will be a value. Yes, so let's, let's come to this. When we come to the solution, part of it, I'll first of all identify my number as 2, 7, 3. Then we have 4. This is the digit we are having. 4, 3, 7, 2. Those are the digits in one number. Now for us to find the value of each digit, we shall need to identify the place values of each number. And the place values of each number, we shall say this 4 is taking the place value of 1s. And the 1s are represented by O, O standing in for 1s. Then 3 is under the place value of 10s. 7 will take the place value of 100. Then 2 alone will take the place value of 1000. Remember what I've said earlier on, that when we want to find the value of a digit, we shall get the, uh, the digit times its place value. One person can say, this is the same as get your first value. Let me first use this method, then I come to that method later. Let me use the one we are mostly used to. I'll first of all identify the place value of that digit at the same time. I've already also identified the place value of that. At the same time, I've also identified the place value of this. I have also known the place value of this. This number is mostly done in P3 for those who passed through P3 to P6 to P5 to P4. I know outside there you are now like, ah, this number looks to be simple. Yeah, it is simple because you went through it. Anything you don't know is hard. Anything you know is ever simple. So there is, something, there is nothing which is simple. There is nothing which is hard. Something you know is ever simple. Something you don't know, it is ever hard. That is the logic behind. So when you look at this, you realize that a 4 is taking the place value of all. Ones. So I'll get my digit, I'll come out with my digit, which is 4. So I'll say 4 times its place value. What is the place value in this case? The place value is 1, so I'll multiply by 1. And what I'm going to come out with here is the value of this first digit. So when I get 4 times 1, I'll come out with 4. Then I will continue. To the second digit, second digit is 3. Times, what is the place value of 3? The place value of 3 in this case is identified as 10. So if the place value is 10, we shall multiply it by 10. What is going to come up it is what we shall refer as to a, play, a, a value of 3. So we shall have 3 times 10, which will give us 30. So 30 only is the value of 3. Let's come to identify the value of 7. I'll first have my 7 here multiplied by its place value. What is the place value of 7? Place value of 7 is identified as 100. I'll multiply it by 100, which will give us 700. 
And 700 now becomes the value of 7. Then from there we come to store times its place value. And its place value is 1000. So we shall multiply by 1000. What we are coming out with is the value of 2. So 2 times 1000, it will give us 2000. Then from there, I'll get my ruler and underline my work. So, what you do, you who is outside there, make sure that uh, you follow all the steps. And after following all the steps, you have to get the right answer. And after getting your answer, get your ruler and underline your work neatly, such that it doesn't give hard time to your examiner or the person marking you. That will be the first method. This will be the, me the first method. This will be the first method. Then from there, we shall continue to second method. We shall continue to second method. And the second method, we shall say, or oh, we shall get our number. That is our second method. We have two, seven, three, four. So the second of this digit, I'll say this one is taking the place value of ones, tens, hundreds or thousands. After identifying the place values, after identifying the place values, we shall also continue and say, I'll begin with my 4, I multiply it by its place value. What is the place value? The place value is 1. So I'll say 4 times its place value which is 1, then it will give me my answer as 4. Remember, they said we identify for each digit. Then I'll come to the second. I'll say 3 times its place value. The place value of 3 is 10, which will give us 30. Which will give us 30. So here we shall have 3 times 10, it will give us 30. Then from there we shall continue to the next digit, which will be 7. So I'll say 7 times 100. I'm multiplying by 100 because 7 is under the place value of 100. So this will give us 700. Remember we still have another digit, that is 2 times 1,000. I'm multiplying by 1,000 because 2 is under 1,000. So this will give us 2,000. Then from there, I'll come with my ruler and underline my answer. We have now already identified all the digits and their values. All the values of each digit has been identified. So from there, I can also take you through example two. I can also take you Roman two, not example two, but Roman two. The first Roman is done. So I want us to go through the second Roman. The second Roman we have seven, eight, four, three, six. I want us to still as the question requested us, we still need to find the value of each digit. So here, when you look at the first question, we had a four digit number, but this time around we have a five digit number. So if you were in P3, 
P3, you look at this. Then from P3, when you come to P4, we shall also have to look at the numbers with the five digits. So when you look at five digits, that will be in P4. I want to look at that. Meaning that when you are there outside in P4, take care of this. When you are outside there in P3, please take care of this. When you are in P4, you are supposed to understand P3 work. At the same time, you have to understand P4 work. You are in P6, you have to begin from P3, P4, P5, P6. So let's look at this. This is mostly applicable in P4. Mostly P4 is the one, uh, is the class that moves up a four digit, I mean a five digit number. So I want us to identify this. We shall come and say, we have seven, eight, four, three, six. So we are going to use this to identify the value of each digit. I'm going to use the first method to identify the values of each digit. So I'll have here my six. I'll also have to find the value of three. I'll have to be required to find the value of four. I have also to find the value of eight. At the same time, I'll have to find the value of seven. So when we come to find the values, we have said finding the value of a digit, we are required to get the digit times its plus value. So I'll first of all identify my digit as six times the plus value of six, it is one. So what we come out with that is what we call a value. Six times one, it will give us six. So six is the value of this six in this number. We shall come to the second digit, which will be three times 10. I'm multiplying by 10 because three is under the place value of 10, which will give us 30. So 30, becomes the value of three in this number. We shall continue to four. I'll have my four times each place value, and the four is under the place value of 100. So I'll multiply by 100, which will give me 400. So 400 becomes a value of four in this question. When you're in P3, you are supposed to be able to work out this, 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 up to at least here. So let's continue to this. We shall come to eight times 1,000. So we're multiplying eight times 1,000 because eight is under the place value of one. 1,000 over 1,000. So we shall come out with 8,000. So 8,000 becomes the value of this number. It is the value of this number given a reason that 8 is lying under the place value of 1,000. That's why we have got 8,000. So from there we shall continue and find out or work out, we shall continue and find out the value of seven. So we shall have seven times. We have to look for the place value of seven. For those who have been following us, they know this seven lies under the place value of 10,000. So we shall have to multiply by 10,000. So I'll say times 10,000, which will give us 70,000. 70,000. Then from there, I'll first get my ruler 
I'll underline my work. I'll have my ruler and underline my work. So, when you look at the relationship of these numbers, you realize that when you're in P1, P2, in P1 you'll come from 1s up to 10s, then in P3 you may come up to, uh, even P2 you'll come up to 100s, then you'll find out that in P3 you have reached 1000, P4 you have reached 10,000. Then after that, I want us to look at another example of Roman 3. Now when we come to Roman 3, we are now reaching another number of 6 digits. So 6 digits, we shall have 8, 7, 0, 2, 7, 8. We need to identify all the values of each digit in this number. So what is required first of all is to identify the place value of each digit in the number. After identifying the place value of to tell the value of each digit in the number. So from there I'll say I'll have eight seven zero two three eight after there i'm now going to identify the values of each digit in this form While drawing these lines, please, I would advise you and encourage you to be using a ruler. Don't use a free hand. When you use a free hand, you realize that your work will not be neat. So learn how to use a ruler so that your work will appear neat. So when you look at this, we want to find the value of each digit in this number. So for us to find the value of each digit in this number, we shall first of all identify the place values as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand, hundred thousand. After identifying the place values of those digits, what is required next is to get the digit and multiply it by its place value. So I'll have eight here times one. What we are going to come out with from here is the value of this eight. So it is the eight times one, it will give us eight. Then from there, I'll continue and say seven times ten. I'm multiplying by ten because the plus value of seven is equal to ten. So here it will give us seventy. Then we shall continue and say the next number will be 2 times 100, which will give us 200. 200. We shall continue and say we have got 0 times 1000. Because this, is, this 0 is under the place value of 1. Thousands. So when we get, when we come out with zero times one thousand, we shall come out with zero. Then we continue to seven. We shall have our seven times ten thousand. When we multiply seven with the ten thousand, we shall come out with the seventy thousand. Then, when you check this level, is where we ended on Romani 2. So, we need to continue up to here. From here, what are we going to do? 
we are now going to multiply with 100,000 because 8 lies under the place value of a or of 100,000 or of 100,000. So I will have my 8 times 100,000. This will give me 800,000. After getting 800,000, I've exhausted all the digits which were there and I've now known the value of each digit in this number. For example, sometimes they can also say identify the value of zero in this number. Don't work out this. If they say for zero, come and find out for zero only. Then you'll have zero times this if they say zero only. If they say two, don't find out for other digits. Just come and find out for two. So you will come to two alone, you say two times one hundred. Depending on the way how the question has been asked. So after there, I'll come and uh, underline my work. As I summarize that, let me also come to this. Next example, that is Roman 4, which will contain some kind of many digits, as you see them identified here. So I want us to look at that. They want us to find the digits for each value. When you look at this example, you compare with this, you realize that there is some kind of differences. You realize that in P3, when you are in P3, you may start on a thousands, or yeah, on thousands, on, on thousands. Then when you proceed to P4, you realize you will proceed to 10,000. Then from P4, when you come to P5, you realize that you will proceed from 10,000 where you ended in P4 up to 100,000. Then when you continue in P6, you realize that you will no longer deal with only thousands. You will now shoot to millions. You will now deal in millions because now developed. You are no longer a baby. We now believe that uh, by the time you reach in P6, you are able to understand millions. And I believe that when I get, uh, I come out with uh, five. 5,000 in what? For even 10 millions, and I give you to count. We believe that you can be able to count. Since you are in P6, you are now mature in the brain. You know what is good? You know what is bad? You know even how to count. That's why we take you a little bit to millions. But with the P5s, we stop you in the thousands because we believe you should not reach millions before your time. Then from there, let's go straight to our questions. They said 78,343,963. And when you look at the question, the question said, write the place value of each digit following so they want us to find the values of each digit in all these numbers and some of the numbers we have worked them out now this time round I want us to work out the digits or the values of the digits that belong to Roman 4 so from there, we shall first of all identify the, uh, the place values. So I'll, cut my, I'll come with my question, I write it here as 78,343,963. Then we keep the place values first. We shall say this one is under ones, this one is under tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. Then we shall say a hundred thousand. 
we shall say million then we say 10 million I'm now identifying the place values or after identifying the place values as ones tens hundreds thousands ten thousands a hundred thousands we shall come to million from million we shall come to ten million after identifying all those place values of each digit then we should be in a position to find the values of each digit in the number by saying or by yeah by saying a digit times its place value so i'll start from the smallest digit by saying we have the first one as three times one then it will give me the value of three then i'll continue arranging it in the same way I also say 6 times 10, which will give us 60. Then from there, I will say 9. So I will say 9 times 100. This will give me the value of 900. Then from there, I will continue to 3. I will say 3 times 1,000. I'm now dealing with this 3 because it is under value plus value of 1,000 which will give us 3,000. From 3,000 we shall continue to 10,000 and that will be 4 times 10,000 which will give us 40 thousand after 40,000 I'll come to three times we have now summarized this I want us to come to another value and for us to find the next value we have now identified the values of this three this six this 9 as 900. This 3, its value is 3. This 6, its value is 60. This 9, its value is 900. This 3, its value is 3000. This 4, its value is 40,000. Now we are coming to this 3 again. The next 3. The next 3 is under the place value of 100,000. So I will say 3 times 100,000, which will give us 300,000. Continue to 8. I will say 8 times 8 is under million. So I will get 8 times 1 million. Which will give us 8 million 8 million from that we shall continue and say value of 10 million we have 7 times 10 million which will give us 70 millions where the seven zeros then from there I'll have my runner underline this you can use this method if you cannot use this method you can use this method all of them gives you the same answer so allow me extend to the sec uh, to the sec uh, last example in the question. But as I go to the next example, this is my kind of advice to you pupils 
who are at home watching us on VTN. If you don't have anything to make you move away from home, please keep at home until time reaches. If things have normalized, it will be okay. So from there, I would also advise you, as we proceed, always be following BTN TVs. And as parents outside there, also request you to encourage your children to be following BTN programs for their own benefit. It is quite a long period when they may not be in a classroom or when they are not in a classroom. So if it takes long like this and we don't encourage them to revise, to follow these programs on BTN TV and other TVs that the government has put across to help our learners, it may be really a little bit a challenge by the time again schools reopen. So my kind of advice is to ask you all the parents outside there to get involved in this so that your children, our pupils, get serious in following these programs and revising their piece of work that they have. And as you pupils who are at home, we also request, uh, request you to be revising all the subjects that are done at your level. In different levels, beta secondary, nursery, primary, universities, and so on. My kind request is do what is supposed to be done. So let's look at the next example. That will be example two. Example two. So as I say that we look at example two, we can look at it and I will see what does it require us to do. So when you look at example two, it is a little bit uh, different in terms of setting with example one. Example one looks to be a little bit just an open question. But when you look at example two, it is a little bit of many words that may look to be so confusing, but in actual sense, they don't confuse anyone. So let's look at this. When you look at example two, they say BTN TV wishes to have 627 millions, 684,843 students following this teaching program. Write the values of two and three in the number of students admired to follow the program. So when you look at this, they have said this BTN TV wishes to have this number of learners and uh, among the number of learners being admired, they, want, they have just identified some two digits and they want us to find their values. So the first thing we shall need to do here is to first copy the number admired by the TV staff. Then after copying the number, we are going to also to identify the digits that they have asked for. And the digits we have two and three. When we look at the question, we have two. We have also three. So they want us to identify the values of those two digits. Now for us to identify those two digits or the value of those two digits, we shall first of all write the number or copy the number. So let's copy the number as six. Two, seven, six, eight, four, eight, four, three. So after copying it, I'll come and say one, two, three. I put a comma, one, two, three, comma. We shall have to group them in the three threes. So from there, I'll look at the admired digits first of all 
where do you dig it? They have talked of two and a three. So we shall have to first of all look for those digits. When we look at the number, we have two here. At the same time, we have three here. So they want us to find the values of those two digits. Remember one thing. We said to identify the value of a digit, you are supposed to have the value times its place value. So once you identify the digit and its place value, it is very easy for you to be in position to identify the value of that specific or required digit. Since we know the tickets that we have already identified by underlining them, the ones they wanted, they wanted for two and three, and we have also identified them, three and two. After identifying that, that will be the first step. The second step, we shall be required to look for the place values or identify the place values of the digits. And we shall start with the last digit which takes the position of ones as we consider the rest. So I'll have here three will be identified as ones it takes the place value of ones. So for me to identify the value of 3, I'll say 3 times 1, which will give us 3. Remember, we have also to identify the value of 2. So I'll also say 2 times, I don't know the place value now, so we need to identify the place value. So we shall say... 3 is under 1, followed by 10s, 100s, 1000s, 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 millions. So 2 is identified at 10 millions. So I'll come here and say times 10 millions. 10 millions, I'll have 10 millions with the 7 zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. Five, six, seven. So when you find out that two times ten millions, we shall come out with twenty millions. We shall come out with twenty millions. So here we have identified the value of the two. We have identified the value of three and the value of 2, just like it was required in the question. After identifying those values, I'll come here with my, I'll come here with my ruler, and I underline my answer. If, if you don't use this method, you can also use the same method, like we used to know, 30 example but you identify for only two. You identify for two and three. You only identify for two digits, two and three. Then from there, as I proceed with my work, I would also advise everyone outside there that is viewing us, that would wish to have the same kind of work or the same piece of work just simply do this, subscribe, BTN TV journals, that is YouTube, Instagrams, Twitter accounts, Facebook. When you check on those accounts, you'll find this work, then you follow it from the beginning point to the ending point. 
just like I've been saying for those who always just join us and you would wish to say anything concerning this piece of work that we are doing I always refer you direct to my inbox if you have a question if you have any inquiry if you have any comment please feel free and share with us feel free and share with me you may feel like there is something you need to inquire which your child did not understand don't hesitate just send your question and I will answer you let's help your child Helping your child is of our benefit. A child is for your advantage, at the same time for my advantage, at the same time for the world's advantage. The excellence of your child is the benefit to the world. So we feel so proud, or oh, personally I feel so proud, when I see you approach me with the questions concerning for our children in case they have not understood outside there. Let's feel free. We help each other until the situation will normalize and the children will access services from their schools. And as I always advise everyone, don't call me that. Just yes, simply use SMS. If you don't use messages, direct. Also use WhatsApp. When we meet from WhatsApp, I can handle your problem relating to what we have done. Whatever you feel like you need to ask, please don't hesitate. Ask, I'll get back to you. And we hope our child, as we hope our child, I also advise my children outside there, or our pupils, our candidates, our, not only candidates, all children, or all, all people outside there, I would advise you please, work hard. We know the situation is very hard, but keep in touch, with your teachers, your parents, with this TV program, you'll always be learning something. Don't just sit. When you tend to sit for all this period here, by the time we start school, you'd have forgotten everything. So imagine you'll be in P6, but you'll not even be understanding P5 work if you don't look at it or you don't revise it. So the better you go and revise some work, if you find any difficult, also in mathematics and science yes you can share with us you can share with us and you may be hoped better if it happens that you have failed to access your teacher but if I consult your teacher if you are able to access him before you come to us but in relating to this direct concerning to what I've told even if you come direct to me, there is no problem. But for other, other, other areas where I've not yet tackled, and you feel like there is something you need to uh, touch or you need to understand, first consult your mathematics teacher where you are. That teacher will be responsible and will help you. If you fail to access him, then you can directly inbox me on WhatsApp, number this, and I will help you in the area you need me to help you. I recognize the parents that have been moving with us, that have tried to show their interest in this program, and they really see its value. They recognize its value. So this will be my last area. As I also leave you with some simple numbers here, like three, four, five, to exercise. You should not just sit where you are, you have to do this also. 
sockets the book just like we have read earlier i know you have more you have those books already so let's look at this number one number one says number one says write write the value write the value of each write the value of each digit numbers following in the following numbers the first number we have one two three four six one to the value of each number two we have two zero two zero one for each digit number three we have one thousand nine hundred ninety two Number four, we have seven, eight, six, three, eight, four. Lastly, we shall have five, 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 six, 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 seven, seven, seven. I want you to work out the where you are, try all these numbers. When you finish them, simply reach your mathematics teacher at your school. I know your parents have, they have been in contact with them because they know their numbers. Contact them with this. They will see how to help you. If you fail, you will have to preserve that work until school opens. But in case of anything you want to ask, please, Feel free, contact me via this WhatsApp number. As I summarize my question, I mean as I summarize my lesson, allow me say, or allow me send my appreciation to the staff of BTN TV and the sponsors that came in and joined us to ensure that this program keeps on. All the parents who have been supporting us outside there to ensure that your children follow this, we do recognize you and we really appreciate you. As we emphasize by saying, allow us continue as you also do for us continuously that work of emphasizing or advising your children to be following our lessons. Remember early morning at 9 BM, uh, p.m. every day every day we have mathematics and at three at in uh, sorry, sorry, sorry 9 a.m in the morning we have at the 3 p.m we have the best we wish you well